Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of my friend Tiffany, so stay tuned. Welcome back. Now how did I get this fabulous photograph of my friend Tiffany who looks very sexy in this picture? What I did was I set up my nice white background and then I used a couple of soft boxes in the front with a beauty dish and I'll explain to you why I use that kind of lighting and that you could probably do this kind of lighting uh, the way you would like to light up somebody as long as you keep that background nice and white. Now, in order to keep the background nice and white, you've got to put light on it. And what I've got is I've got two umbrellas that are pointing down onto the white of the backdrop and they kind of bounce a little bit off of the floor so they clean that kind of roll that you get on your seamless. They just make it all nice and white and it bounces around. Now the other trick I do too also is to add a large white flat shiny board on the floor so that I get a little reflection from my subject standing there and it also helps to reflect a little bit of the light back again. There's nothing worse than seeing somebody or anything just on a white background just floating around all over the place with nothing to anchor it on. So by having that shine on the floor, you get something to anchor the person to. And of course it uh, looks kind of cool to have a little bit of reflection there. So that's what we did. We put down the board on the white seamless, lit up the seamless so it was nice and white, and then we added our front lights. Now as I said, you can put whatever front lights you like to light up your subject matter. In my particular case, sometimes I do this and I use a ring light and lights up really nicely, and sometimes I use other forms of lighting. In this particular case, I use two soft boxes, one on each side, one was the main light and one was a little bit of a fill light and because I was getting a little bit of a shadow across the nose because it's cross lighting I decided to put up a beauty dish on a boom right directly at the face so that it would uh, light up her face and take away some of those little shadows that are being called by the cross light. Um, this for me is very successful so you know I have a formula going on here and that's what I like to do. When you are going to do something like this a semi-nude or a nude. In this particular case, uh, Tiffany was actually wearing some shoes, which I thought was kind of sexy just to be nude with shoes. Uh, you've got to be very sort of uh, understanding and make the situation comfortable. So what I suggest you do is that you've got to work out some of the poses that you want to do with your model whilst, in my case, she was sitting on the floor. So I put the camera down and I work with the model for some of the poses. Now the reason for putting the camera down is because it makes it much more comfortable for the model to be sitting there naked and not worry about having to cover up all the time just in case you're going to be taking some pictures of her if her boob is exposed or something like that. So put the camera down so there's a certain comfortable element and then help work with the model. Now the other thing that I find very important is to have your makeup artist or stylist to be on the set with you. In my particular case I have a girl who is a makeup artist and a stylist who curled, spiral curled the hair on Tiffany so that we had that great look that we were going for with the hair and did a fabulous job on her makeup. And by having a, a girl there with you or another woman with you, it makes for a much more comfortable environment for both the model and yourself. Plus also too, if you want to have the stylist move things or let's say position a model, you can sit back or move back and look through the camera and see how things are working out for yourself. Now in my particular case, I had the camera on a tripod so I didn't have to keep on thinking about moving around. And also if the camera is stationary, the model feels comfortable just looking directly at the camera knowing that you're not sort of moving around trying to catch her off guard. Now for me, Tiffany and I have worked on many projects together and I've done lots of sexy things with her so she feels very very comfortable uh, being nude around me but you know I'm telling this for people who, who are doing this for the first time these are pointers and tips that you want to use in order to make a real comfortable environment anyway so we sat Tiffany down on the floor we went through the poses my lighting's all set up and I'm going to give you one little extra pointer about the lighting the background light should be at least one and a half stops brighter than the light that is coming from the front towards the model. Now I went over to see a client, a new client one time, and she said to me, look at this guy's pictures, they're all dark. Why are they dark? 
and it's because the photographer was metering from the lights that were in the back that were bright and he didn't meter for the lights that were in the front so meter for the lights in the front get the exposure set for the lights that are falling on the model not the light that's on the background the background is going to be brighter one and a half stops i recommend and then check this exposure that is right here on the model now today you can look at the back of your camera on the led screen and you can see your exposure and you can see how things they are or if you're tethered to your computer you can also see on the computer how it's looking so once you got that all organized then you can go ahead and go through the motions and shoot the pictures and i think you can pretty much agree that this is a fabulous shot and then later on i took it into photoshop and i did some tweaking and we did a little sort of a color change and that looks kind of cool too so i I was very happy with his pictures and Tiffany was very happy with them too so it all worked out very successfully. If you like that story you might want to pop over to my website andrefelixphoto.com and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there that I talk about and how I did some of my photographs. You can also download a PDF of a book I put together called Tips and Tricks. And if you haven't subscribed maybe you should think about subscribing. If you have thank you very much. Leave me a comment let me know what you think and all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.